Hi, this is Mender Chen. Um, I'm going to show you the course in Blackboard that I have redesigned based on what I learned from uh, the blend blend learning um, training that I received this semester. And on the left hand side you can see a list of menu. Um, I use divider uh, to separate some of the menu item and their menu which this is the uh, course home which is a standard uh, blackboard course home uh, I'm, I'm not going to change that which has announcement task what's new t um, alerts etc uh, students usually are familiar with this so I'm, I'm not going to change that however there's a start here this is where uh, I want the student to kind of give them a, a review um, in terms of what uh, this course is organized and over here I'm pointed out uh, some of the item on the menu like course home start here instructor information and syllabus and then I'm organizing uh, the actual course content by grouping them into uh, various units and and I'm going to introduce some of the unit, uh, the two unit that I have developed. Um, but let me let's look at the instructor information here. So this is instructor information. Uh, there's an intro video uh, which is posted on YouTube, and so the student can can view this. Uh, there's email and contact information, etc. Syllabus is also available here. Um, there's a PDF version of the syllabus, um, but some important information of the syllabus also listed here, such as textbooks, um, additional reading info, um, reading material, and the schedule. Okay. I did not put in the specific day for um, for various units that's going to be. Um, cover in this course yet and it depends on which semester I'll be teaching this. Um, so in, in this schedule I also laid out uh, some assignment and it's due day um, so make sure students um, are aware of that. Now let's look at the um, the course units um, that I have um, put together. Uh, I try to follow um, very specific structures, um, consistent structure, let's put it this way. Um, so under each course, this is called actually called um, content area. Um, here it's referred to as unit. Under each unit, I have created a learning module and on the opening page of the learning module, um, I create some description. It's called the roadmap for the learning um, for the learning module or for the units, and also list uh, the course outcome uh, for this particular unit. And some of the uh, activity and assignment will also um, are also listed here. This is a little bit redundant, um, and because it's um, it is included in the learning module, but I think some redundancy would be um, would be necessary. So student uh, should get into the learning module here by clicking here. I kind of create that links here as well. Um, because sometimes students may actually just miss this link, which is the title of the learning module. So I'm going in. Inside the learning module, um, student can see uh, the table of content here. And by the way, a student can move the table of content to the on the side if, if they wish. And sometimes there's some advantage of doing that. They can hide the table content, they can expand it to full length so they can see everything, or just show kind of half of it uh, to give more content area for the learning module. I'm going to move it down at the bottom, which um, 
may be easier. And by the way, at the bottom here, student can minimize the content area uh, to give this content area more space. So let's just first look at the, um, let me get it out, the lecture content here. Um, there's the lecture content here is an intro to MIS and I break it down into several areas. One is to just a list um, slides, usually one or two slides. Um, there's, um, there's a link to it. If students click on the link, uh, they can save the slide. It is recommended they save the slide. The reason is that um, my video lectures um, are really based on the slide. So they're encouraged to have a slide um, kind of either printed or viewing the slide while listening to the um, to the video. And, and so they can make some note at the PowerPoint kind of lecture note area. So this, um, so here I break up um, the lecture into smaller chunk um, try to limit each of the lecture to 10, 15, at most 20 minutes. So let's just quickly take a look. Okay, so this is just an example of So I'm switch. I'm kind of moving forward a little bit. One terabyte is about a thousand kilobyte, and a lot of data that we capture in business will be processed in inventory. So, so I'm going to stop this and coming back. So those are the links to the videos on um, lecture that has been posted to to YouTube that a student can view. And there are additional reading on uh, this um, this article by Harvard Cleveland is a classic one which I do use it and cover it in my lecture. So that's kind of the main traditional lecture mode. And here uh, the second kind of document uh, the second task here is basically assignment. Uh, this assignment uh, basically asks the student to kind of introduce themselves. And let me switch back and forth a little bit. Okay, students should look at the assignment detail here. The assignment detail here uh, basically uh, has a link. Uh, tell the student to go to actually a Google um, a Google presentation area that I created and will be shared um, among students and myself. Uh, so the students follow this. They come to this um, Google's um, share presentation. Um, here I'm giving a clear instruction what, what they expected to do over here and this is just um, example of myself and I also give an example uh, for um, of a student this is kind of what they have to put in um, introduce themselves a little bit their educational um, background and what's their expectation for this course and a picture of them so they 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 are encouraged to um, come here and add uh, a new slide at the end of the last slide. Okay, so that's what they're expected to do. And once they have done that, um, they, they can come uh, to view other students' um, stuff and also uh, I can grade their, um, uh, their work in terms of uh, the page they have created um, under that Google presentation. Let me move to the next one. The next is actually um, a discussion um, that I created um, based on the information system framework using voice thread. So the student is asked to click here 
the voice thread and they will come to voice thread under this course area and they will find this uh, slide uh, which is at information system framework if they click on this slide they're going to um, hear at least my I'm going to let you listen this uh, just a little bit. I'm using the mouse to highlight the slide. And I want the student to do the same thing. So I'm going to stop here. So that's another, t um, um, basically that's the, the other activity that I want the student to engage in and uh, using the voice thread and, and I intentionally record my comment in video so kind of allow them to see me doing it. Um, and there's a quiz uh, based on the lectures um, and the video they have seen. So uh, once they finish um, reviewing the intro slide in the video, then they'll be asked to take the quiz. And they have to click here, say click to launch to take the quiz. And in this case, it's just a multiple choice question. So they would they will be asked okay um, to make a choice and in this question too I even have a picture here ask them to um, to answer what this picture mean this pictures came from that uh, paper by Holler Cliflin and once it has all been uh, submitted uh, it will be uh, graded so I'm going to come back here okay so that's um, that's more or less on what we have what I have and then uh, I do have another um, second part of this kind of learning module which is discussion of HTML and how to create HTML page there is assignment associated with it so they have to really work on the assignment and let's let's just quickly look at the unit 2 unit 2 is has the same format uh, there's of course roadmap and expect uh, expected outcome and then um, some highlight some activity and assignment they, they have to do uh, they should click on the learning module which once again there's a table of content and at the beginning the lecture content has PowerPoint slide video lecture and the reading list the assignment here is ask them to continue working on the HTML assignment. Uh, so there's really new, no new assignment, but continue working on the previous assignment. There's a case study which um, which they should uh, read the article and the case, and then they uh, I'm using in this case not voice thread but uh, the discussion board um, in. Uh, discussion board in Blackboard system on uh, that discussion forum in Blackboard system they need to click on click to launch to come to the um, the discussion forum 
and I created three threads and they're asked to actually respond to um, to each of the thread here um, and for instance um, here in this thread they asked student and asked to identify um, in terms of how um, they can reduce the cycle time t um, for Zara uh, so they can click on reply and to reply to um, to this thread of discussion and okay so that pretty much sum up um, the redesign of the online course that I'm going to teach um, using some of the um, tool that we have learned like voice thread and some of the feature that I haven't used in the past such as uh, the discussion forum um, and also the learning module uh, which really helped me to organize the content in a much more structured format. Thank you Jill, thank you Michelle and thank you to, um, all the colleagues in this uh, blended learning cohort. Take care. I'll see you soon.